In our previous video tutorial, we showed most of the wide-ranging features of Imaris measurement points. This tutorial describes how to place measurement points on a specific plane when it lacks any created object, such as spots, surfaces or filaments, or even high-intensity voxel. Ortho and oblique slices are ideally suited for this task. To start adding measurement points on a specific plane, first add new slices in the surpass scene. Please note that within the Measurement Points tool, any added surpass object is considered to be a solid object. Switch off the volume rendering to provide an unobstructed view. Adjust the position of the slices at the planes where you wish to place new measurement points. Then switch to measurement points and select the surface of object option. Set the pointer to Select Mode, adjust the size of the 3D cursor box and start inserting measurement points by holding down the Shift key and clicking at the location of your choice. A line connecting the two points is created and the measured distance between the two structures of interest is displayed. Similarly, the oblique slices can be used to re-slice the image and place measurement points at the desired location. The oblique slicer can be moved and rotated to any angle, allowing complete control over which portion of the image is visible. Following the same process, insert measurement points. In addition, measurement points can be inserted between the oblique and or ortho slicer and any created objects. By doing so, you can measure the distance between non-segmented structures of interest and any Imaris created objects. If you have questions about these features or any other features found within Imaris, please contact our sales or support team. Thank you for watching this video.